Okay, everyone, we're talking about outside curves on Versalock standard units. The very minimum outside curve that you can do is an eight foot outside radius. You wanna make sure on your base course that you have a gap on the back of the block. As you increase courses, your radius is gonna decrease. So this gap is gonna get skinnier and skinnier and skinnier. So that's why we recommend at Versalock, even though our minimum outside radius is at eight foot over here where it's tight, we recommend your top course to figure at eight foot two. And that gives you a little wiggle room in case there's a little slide in the block. I mean, realistically, in the real world, everything's not gonna be perfect radiuses. And then say your grade change changes on you and maybe the homeowner, maybe they want an extra course added on after the fact. So at the bottom of the course, we're gonna account for how many courses up at three quarters of an inch setback. So as Alex brings in the next course and sets it down, you can see our radius has decreased three quarters of an inch. Now he's gonna pin the block and depending on where you are, if it's a straight course, Maybe you're using the one and the four hole, but because of our variable bond, we can keep pinning on different radiuses. And in this case, it's the one and the three hole, and we're able to keep pinning as we go. We're gonna scoot that forward, lock it into place, and continue. Convex or outside curves can be built with Versalock standard units, and there are no special units needed. No lips to remove, and you can pin because of our variable bond. For outside curves, you decrease the space between the backs of the units, always making sure that the front joints are tight. The minimum outside radius is eight foot without cutting. However, establishing a minimum radius at the top of the course a couple inches higher is recommended to allow for creep of the block or in the event additional courses are added in the future. Because the units set back three quarters of an inch, the radius of the curves becomes tighter as the wall increases in height. Therefore, you need to think of a backward plan, the radius of the base course. The example in the table shown allows you to calculate the base course radius when the radius for the top of the course is known.